So those of you who have the Debar translation software and you search the words Better Covenant, of course, in the Hellenic texts, you find these three occurrences in the book of Hebrews. And what I want to point out here is that the context of that which is better is the Genesis 17 covenant. After Yahweh changed Abram's name to Abraham. So the preceding covenant of Genesis 15, 18 is not the better covenant. No, Genesis 17 is the better covenant. Part of understanding why it's better is understanding Paul's allegory in Galatians chapter 4 here, which the mentioned two covenants are the Abrahamic covenants, where Abraham had two sons. Two sons, two covenants. So the one that was out of Hagar, the maidservant, Paul says, is out of the uh, flesh here. According to the flesh. Because Yahweh promised Abraham seed, and when it didn't come, Abraham said, okay, well, I'll do it. I'll hook up with Hagar. And then Ishmael was born, who was not the seed of promise. That wasn't the seed Yahweh promised. Christ was the seed of promise. So the one out of Hagar is the Genesis 15, 18 covenant. Where in Genesis 16 is the event with Hagar. And then we see the covenant in Genesis 17. It follows. Okay. So in the allegory, he's likening Abraham's flesh to Sinai in the giving of the law. Because the law that was given at Sinai through Moses was the law of the flesh, the, the fleshy inner aim, Hebrews 7.16 which is not out of the free one, but leads again to slavery. And the leading again to slavery, parabolically, is the third watch time. For those of you who are not familiar with the parables of the watch times, they simply divide the hours of the night, the 12 hours, into four segments. And the first three watch times completes the right hand of the body. The fourth watch time is the cursed of the left name cut off. So the cursed are Matthew 25, 41. My least brothers are locked out of the wedding at midnight into the third watch time, which is the Genesis 15, 18 covenant. The first and second watch times is the better covenant that leads into the entering of the wedding at midnight, where the foolish locked out are then into the third watch time. So simply understand even tied to midnight, the first two watch times, Mark 13.35 here, is what Paul is calling the upheading into the guardship of the dwelling law for the time of the completion of the terms to uphead. So the terms to complete everything are the four watch times, where those locked out into the third watch time, sign given Peter, will have to remember Abraham. Deuteronomy 9.27, which is actually part of the Moab Covenant. Chapter, I'm sorry, chapter 28, verse 69, which is a covenant God, Yahweh, made with Mo, Moses apart from Horeb. Apart from Horeb, which is the confirming back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the next chapter here. So that he may confirm you this day that he has worded to you and to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So the covenant here for your passing over to be in the covenant of Yahweh, your Elohim, mm -hmm. is the, the Moab covenant, which points back to Abraham covenant of Genesis 15, 18. And in verse 17 here, the vision of the night blackness is a, a third watch time into the fourth watch time vision. Where again, the fourth watch time is the curse of the left named. Where here, those who are embittered uh, to Yahweh will go into that curse. So you find the, the, the black uh, night blackness here in Ezekiel also according to that being addressed to the house of embitterment. 
which is all a type of the Mosaic Covenant, when they embittered towards Yahweh. So this is why the allegory is made concerning Moses, Sinai, Hagar, pointing back to this covenant, because it's, it's according to the flesh, not according to the seed of promise of the Genesis 17 covenant, which was Christ. This is what Paul is explaining in Galatians chapter 3. He does not say unto seeds as of many, but as of one, he says, and to your seed, which is Christ. Okay, which Abraham, according to the flesh, brought forth Ishmael, who was not the seed of promise, of course. And don't misunderstand, here in Genesis 15, when Yahweh spoke to Abram and promised him seed, well, the seed of promise is Christ. But Abraham, 90 years past, he still didn't have a, a son, where then in the next chapter is the whole Hagar event. Okay. So between Genesis 15 and 17, we have this interlude, just like we had the law of Moses as an interlude. Before we see the covenant being made now here, beginning in uh, verse 7, chapter 17, verse 7, where the seed, 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 seed is Christ. So this is why, this is the better covenant for us who are faithing into the promised seed of Christ through the faith of Abraham, not going back to the law of Moses according to the flesh, which those who continue doing that leading up to midnight here will be locked out of the wedding feasts into the diminution. They will still come into the right-hand body of Christ, but they will have to remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that which was promised to the fathers through faith, not through the law. So again, conceptually, the better covenant is the upheading of the all to complete the terms. Upheading, and then the cut in two, just like is seen with the vision Abraham had with the parts were uh, se separated, and then the night blackness vision leads into this portion, which is not the better covenant. This is the diminution of the covenant of Abraham. When Paul speaks of the mystery in Romans eleven twenty five concerning the completion of the nations, the mystery concerns the upheading portion here, where when you back up to verse 12, the diminution is the third watch time sign given Peter. Again, my least brothers, Matthew 25, 40, where then the cursed here are into the fourth watch time, unnamed in Luke 12, 38. So these are allotting the regency prepared from the downcast of the cosmos, from where the upheading portion is prepared for those outchosen before the downcast of the cosmos. Before is different from from. Before is better. Just remember that. Before is better. Before is better. Better than Abel because Abel is from Luke eleven fifty and 51. Not better. 